This is Jose, I'm John. If you have a flickering dash at idle, this video will show you how to repair that by replacing the rectifier in your alternator. All right, let's get to it. My 2001 Honda S2000, we're gonna change out the rectifier in the alternator. We're getting a, uh, a flickering dash at idle, which is common for the rectifier to be fried. So um, to take out the alternator, the first thing I recommend doing is taking out the intake, giving us all the space we need. So we'll take out the intake, we'll take the belt off, and then I will tackle the alternator and show you some tips and tricks to get it to go. One, two, three. All right, now that we got the intake off, we're gonna pull the belt off and then pull out the alternator to change the rectifier. So you need a 14 millimeter, use a wrench or a socket, you bring the idler pulley down. Okay, now, alternator. Two 14 millimeter bolts, okay? You got a top one and a bottom one. I would like to loosen each one first and then take them all out. Now to take off the back of the alternator, you gotta peel this boot back, take off the nut, and under that there is a, um, a green connector you have to squeeze and pull out. All right, now that you got the connections in the back removed, the bolts, two bolts out, and the pulley off, the belt off, you push, pull the alternator to its side and push it forward. And once you push it forward hard, it'll come right out. That's a, a Bill Man trick. You push the alternator forward and it'll release in place. Okay, alternator's out. Let's remove the rectifier and put the, put the alternator back in. Okay, so we just took the alternator out of the car. Here's what the alternator looks like. Okay, OEM Honda alternator. We're gonna need a Phillips head, I recommend a number two, and an eight millimeter socket. I would say go with a quarter inch. So here's the alternator, and here's the rectifier. This is what's causing the problem. This is what needs to be changed. Your alternator's fine. You just need to change this, alt this rectifier. We bought the rectifiers on eBay. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a replica rectifier. The OEM one was very expensive, and this one I, is j just as good. A um, lot of good reviews on S2KI and on uh, Reddit, S2000, so uh, I recommend it. So with our 8mm, we're going to take off the three nuts. The one screw, be mindful, there is a bracket right here that brings the electricity side to side. We don't want to lose this. So when we take it off, pay attention to that. Put the screw in, now the bracket. Be careful when you take off the cover. So we're gonna grab the cover from all four sides and lift up slow, mindful of that bracket that I told you about. Put it in your tray, take the cover, put it to the side for now. Okay, now here is the supposed defective part, the rectifier. So what happens when your battery drains all the way down and you use your alternator to charge your battery, this here overheats and something inside of it wears out and then needs to be replaced. I recommend by taking off these four screws and putting them in a separate container as your screws from earlier. Now, once you got those four removed, put them in the safe spot. We're gonna take off the top two. So there's one in here, and there's one in here that you have to remove as well. Bolt, the screw comes right off. Okay, now you have to take off the other three screws. Piece comes out, there's two spring-loaded side pieces that just don't worry about them, but don't be mindful of them right there put this aside now we have to take apart the heat sink this heat sink has different screws as everything else so keep these separate or just remember to put the bigger round head ones in here separate
much longer. See the difference in the screw? Make sure you put this screw back in here. Here's what the heat sink looks like. And this is what connects to the uh, rectifier. I'm going to place this to the side. Now we're ready to pull the rectifier off the alternator. So this is the rectifier, the OEM rectifier. Compared to the aftermarket, you know, it looks pretty identical, a slight different color and paint. So now we're going to take our replacement rectifier. Okay, we're going to slide it in on the three posts. Make sure it's nice, firm, snug. Feels right to me. It only goes one way, people. One way. Yep, it only goes one way. So once you get this on, um, I like to put on the heat sink, uh, the heat sink first. So then you put the heat sink on. Okay. Take the two long bolts that go for the heat sink. So now that you have the heat sink on and the two screws to hold the heat sink in place, we're going to put the brush holder on. You bring it on here, you take this flathead, so you got to make sure that this post is at the top so when you put it on, it goes in the right position. Otherwise, you're going to have to flip it. Bring it in like this. Now she's in place. There Snaps in and make sure these two screws lined up. That's how you know you did it right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put all the five, uh, seven screws, I believe, back in place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we're going to put everyone in lightly. No, no reason to torque them down just yet. So there's two different bolts of the small ones. There's a rigid edge one and a round edge one, okay? The rigid goes on the top three. That holds the brush, the brushes, the brush holder in, and the rectifier from the top. The four that go around are the round ones. So I'm going to start with the top ones, put them in. This one might have a little resistance. You have to push the heat sink and the rectifier together to get the fitment correct. If it doesn't feel right and it goes in wrong, don't rush it. So now with these bolts, you need to push the rectifier down a little bit and get it in place. Once again, if it doesn't thread in right the first time, stop, take a look at it. Make sure it's adjusted and lined up. You don't want to strip something. Now that the alternator is back together, we're going to work on putting the cover on. Okay, now to put the cover on, very simple here, just make sure you line it up. This is for, this gets lined up with the connector, and then this gets lined up with the post. Nice and easy. You don't want to bend anything. Once it's in place, what I like to do is put the little connector back in, in the right orientation, okay? going to go back to your eight millimeter we're going to put everything on lightly and then we're going to torque it so first things first is i like to get that bolt for the connector on See the alternator goes in the, the place that you took it out of, obviously. If you can't figure this out, you should not be doing a DIY. Boom. 
Okay, now remember, when you're putting the, hose, the, the bolts back in, the longer bolt goes on the bottom. The shorter bolt goes on the top. This is the short bolt and the long bolt. If you see some corrosion like this, my opinion, give it a no, quick no, hit no. with a brass brush. No, 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 no. Okay, so these are, I'm gonna put these bolts in. So now that the alternator is in place, the first thing I like to do is plug in the lower wire connector with, with the plug facing you. Push it in until you hear that click. Make sure you push it in firm and it's not loose, okay? So the next thing you need to do is you need to take the ground wire, or the power wire I should say, and you put it on. Get it on there good. And grab the 12 millimeter nut and put that on after that. 